Hey, welcome to the Back with Gourmet. Today I have another 30 minute Dutch oven dish you can do easily at camp. Delicious with some pork steaks. Stay tuned. <music> The other night I came home from work and I wanted to make put something together really quick and I kind of threw this dish together and it was just something that really, really, really was special about it. So I hope you guys will try it. So let's get over to the just the very few ingredients you're going to need to make this dish. So first thing you're going to need is just some uh, pork shoulder steaks. This is just a sliced pork butt. Okay. I, I didn't do this the other night, but I would suggest taking the bones out. I cut the bones out, but we're, we're not, we didn't throw them away. We're saving them, okay? We're going to put them in the pot, too, but we'll take, make it easier to take them out later. All right, we got just a little olive oil. We got our favorite Seminole Swamp Season. We got some better than bouillon. Some uh, fire-roasted diced tomatoes. Doesn't matter what the brand is. Some Lipton. Recipe Secrets. Uh, onion soup mix that's it and a little water we don't even count that as an ingredient around here Set the 12 inch today on top of a nice pile of charcoal and we're going to be moving all that around later but right now we just want to get the pot hot I'm gonna leave the lid on let it get get up there just a minute then we'll put some oil in let's start preheat Dutch oven's nice and hot. Go ahead and start laying our pieces of our pork shoulder in there. It's not super level, so and it doesn't matter how big they are. But if you got a puddle of oil on one side, just go ahead and switch it around with each piece. We'll put all of our normal pieces in first, boneless pieces. Then take up all the spaces. Then we'll go ahead and put our bones in. Alright. Here what we're trying to do is just get a little, get a little sear going on them. Come right down the bottom of the pot. And put the lid on. Get them going. Five minutes. Spin first side. It's just sizzling along really nice. Go ahead and flip them. You see some of the moisture coming out already. Alright, I'm going to flip them over and this time I'm going to leave the lid off. Alright, I'll help them. Uh, this first time, I, I, I like to leave the lid on the first time, just kind of get them all up to temp. Trying to get a little bit of a brownness on them, start rendering a little bit of the fat. Alright, try to get them all down in there, all the pieces down in there in contact with the bottom. Alright, another five minutes. All right, so we give it another five minutes. We've been rotating the pot. Dumped in our fire roasted tomatoes. Going in with a tablespoon of better than bouillon. We're gonna put some water in there to help that. Uh, some water. 
just enough to cover. All right, get too crazy with the water. That hot water will help get that, the rest of that bouillon off your spoon. Spread them tomatoes out. Give it a little stir around. Just no dash of water. All right, now let's get it set up for the rest of the Now cook. we have our Lipton onion soup mix, recipe secrets. Let's go ahead and just uh, sprinkle that all over the top kind of evenly. All right, that looks awesome. Now I'm gonna put the top back on. I'm gonna move the oven to the side and start setting up some coals on the top. As usual, these ones in the middle, they get choked off a little bit, but they're still lit. I'm gonna go ahead and Spread those out around the top, the ones still look black. But we want some good heat on this thing. And since we got all that moisture in there, and we're trying to do this kind of hot and fast, probably put quite a bit on that top and on the bottom also. We got plenty of coals, let's go ahead. We'll just put two rings. And I'm gonna bring these other guys in. And again, we're, we're not baking here, so we'll just scatter them. These burned down some of the ones that uh, started the earliest. All right, we'll scatter them out about the size of the pot. Let's grab our lid lifter. Bring it back over on the top. 20 minutes. We'll open her up, get a little final season. That'll be done. Kingsford has just like totally failed me on this dish here tonight. Uh, it's dry, but it's cold in the 50s. So didn't really keep the heat up enough to keep this at a 30 minute dish. But if you have a campfire, you're not going to have that issue. You know, we're trying to do it here for you in the studio tonight, so we just moved it over here. And if, you know, if you got a propane burner, even a propane stove, and things don't work out as planned, like it definitely failed here cooking on charcoal, you can see some of those, those guys didn't even light or keep going. I don't know. It did rain all day yesterday. So that uh, charcoal may have soaked in that humidity. So, hey, you know, you always have to have your backup heat source. You know, we talked about that a bunch of times. And, and this backup heat source is either camp stove, propane burner, whatever you got. So we got her bubbling along there right now. And I'm telling you, this smells awesome. Alright, so we've put it over here on the burner for about maybe five minutes, and I uh, think that's done. So let's go ahead and serve it up.
is super, super awesome. It's looking. Let's go in and see what it tastes like. Yep, pork, fork tender, okay. That is really awesome, especially with just a few ingredients that we put in there. Uh, feel free to expand on this if you have time. Peppers, onions, mushrooms, uh, sky's the limit. Whatever you like, put it on in there with it. But I'll tell you what, if you don't have the time, the way we made it, pretty daggum good. So if you like what we're doing, please smash that like button right down there to subscribe to our channel. You can do it right here for another great Backwoods Gourmet video. It's going to be right there. And for a whole playlist, cast iron and Dutch oven cooking, it's going to be right up there. We'll see you next time.